Hello, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. I get a lot of questions about how to develop a compact swing. Developing a compact swing, a lot of it has to do with just having the correct setup, having the correct sequence and resistance and pullback. A lot of the things I talk about in my Build Your Swing Plan and when I do online video analysis. What I'm gonna do with this video right here is give you a drill to truly help you to better your swing as far as becoming a more of a stronger hitter, a more of a compact swing hitter, and that's what you want to do. You want to have to be short to the ball, and you want to be long through the ball, okay? Now this video right here specifically is going to be with being more compact through the ball, okay? How to get a compact swing. I really believe this video will help you to start developing a compact swing where you have a very elite hand path to and through the ball, okay? And this is what I need you to do. Just go ahead and set up. And when you're setting up, just do everything like you would in a game. And what I need you to do is just get to the point where you're at toe touch, okay? So you're just using a bat, you don't need a ball. All you need is yourself. And if you can, do it in front of a mirror, okay? It's crucial that you do it in front of a mirror, in front of a reflection so that you know if you're doing it correctly or incorrectly and see if your body is going to be doing what I'm asking you to do. There's some checkpoints that I want you to be looking at when I'm doing this video for you. So when you're doing this on your own, set your phone up next to the mirror and watch it and then do the drill. Okay, that's how the brain works best, how the body works best. That's how you build a swing, not by just taking cuts over and over and developing bad habits, okay? This video right here will tremendously help you to have a better hand path, to have a better compact swing. If you don't have a compact swing right now, trust me, if you keep working on this daily, your hand path will improve. Okay, I see it over and over for years working with students, whether in person or online video analysis or people sending me emails as far as my build their swing plan. This video right here, again, if you follow it correctly, I truly believe it will help you to get more of a compact swing, a better elite hand path, okay? So here's what you need to do. Go ahead and just like you're in a game, set up and get to toe touch, okay? Now, drill is this. What I want you to do is when you get to toe touch, you want the bat pointing to if there was a catcher behind you, okay? As though there was a catcher behind you, all right? So, again, all you do, set up and you'll be, you'll be looking in the mirror. You take your stride, okay? I'm looking at the checkpoint. My checkpoint is this. My bat right now is pointing to the catcher's mat. Okay, my hands now are in front of my shoelace. My hands are around the height of the armpit, and they're right here, again, right over my shoelaces, okay? They're not in front of my shoelaces. They're not in front of my foot. They're not behind my foot. It's right in over the shoelaces. Why? Because what happens is you get in a gather, you take a stride, and now your hands should be, because of a pull down, they should be over the shoelace. Now, once you get to toe touch, I'm at toe touch right now, the bat is pointing at the catcher's foot. The next move is, once you get to this position here, okay, this is crucial, you're going to apply pull back, top hand, with your top hand, you're going to apply pull back, and resistance as my lower body starts to rotate. Now, the way you want to do this is with your lower body going in this direction, okay, in this direction, while your upper body is working in this direction. In other words, your top hand, your upper body, your snap load will be working clockwise while your lower body is working counterclockwise. You're separating the upper half where it's pointing in this direction while the lower half is pointing in that direction. That's separation. That is the beginning of having a compact swing, the beginning of having an elite hand path, okay? Now, again, you get to toe touch. As you start to rotate, I'm feeling my lower body rotating. My top shoulder, as I get the heel plant, should be higher than my front one and the shoulder should be pointing to the second basement where my hips are opened up pointing now far more to the left, okay? Now, by doing this, and you do it slowly and methodically, and what you want to do, again, you're looking in the mirror, you're striding, and what I'm doing is I'm rotating as I'm pulling back. Notice my back. 
my bat is still pointing to the catcher's glove as I'm rotating. Again, get to toe touch, pointing to the second to the catcher's glove. Okay, as I start to rotate, it's still pointing up. What usually happens with players that do it incorrectly, and you're probably doing it incorrectly. Way over 90% of the players that I work with, whether in person or online video analysis, when they do this, this is what they look like. They get to a toe touch, probably with their arms kind of low, the back kind of putting, pointing kind of low, instead of pointing this way, it's kind of low. And as they get to heel plant, now their shoulders are open, their hips are open, and the bat is kind of cutting across their body and it's pointing either downward or open, even pointing towards the home plate. That is incorrect, okay? The reason why they're doing that is because they're not applying the pullback as the lower body is rotating and the upper body, upper part of the body, the top hand is pulling back, the elbow's pulling back, okay? So again, toe touch, heel plant, you're just doing this over and over and over and over. Just do this, feel it, feel it. And then if you want to take it to the next step, okay, you got to get used to doing that because if you've never done that before, it's going to feel very awkward, okay? But you want to take it to the next step. What you want to do from here, okay, toe touch, heel plant, heel plant. The next move would be just rotate even more but you want to make sure your hands are right off the deltoid in other words you don't want to do this drill where your hands are cutting across your body you don't want that you want to walk away from the hands okay watch my hands all i'm doing is leaving my hands there walking away rotating rotating my top shoulders higher than the front one my back's still pointing to the catcher's glove and i'm rotating and i feel a lot of resistance and pull back with my top hand okay and then if you watch watch what happens to my back as i start to swing see how my bat is connected to my shoulder deltoid area this is called a compact compact swing right here notice how my back elbow is behind my hands why because of the pull back the resistance so as i start to swing gives me a very compact swing. The key is once you get the toe touch, you want to be balanced, you want to apply the pullback, you want to make sure your hands are over the shoelaces at toe touch. Once you get the heel plant, the lower body rotates counterclockwise, the upper body rotates clockwise. Okay, you want to make sure the bat is pointing to the catcher's glove when you're at toe touch when you are at heel plant. From there, the pullback and the resistance will allow your back elbow to stay behind your hands, not creep underneath. That's why a lot of people get back drag, because there's no pullback. If you have pullback, your hands get more vertical. The pullback creates this beautiful hand path where it goes around the corner of the deltoid. And from there, the lead elbow works up to the height of the mouth and two through the ball with a beautiful extension. It takes time, it takes work, okay? It takes commitment, there's no shortcut. But it can be done, I see it over and over. Some players do this soon, some do it later. It doesn't matter as long as it starts to happen. But the key is, make sure that you're applying the resistance to pull back, even into your heel plant. Try to hold it as long as you can. And then you'll check in the mirror and if you're doing it correctly, okay, slowly, slowly and methodically, look in the mirror. And as you start to swing, see that the back elbow is still behind, behind the hands. So watch how close my hands are right there by the shoulder. It gives you a beautiful swing plane. And by that I mean this. Notice how when I'm swinging, as I'm here, how my hands, my elbow, my shoulders, my back are all going to be in one plane as I hit. Incorrectly would be like this. Notice how my shoulders, my arms, and back are not in the same plane anymore as they were 
when I did it correctly. I hope this video helps you. I truly believe it will. It will help you to have an elite hand pass, compact swing, and you'll be able to have much more opportunities against elite pitchers. Again, I have a build your swing plan. I hope you order it. I think you'll really like it. I do online video analysis. Please give me a like if you learned something. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I have about 100 videos. I truly think they'll be helpful to you as a coach, as a parent, as a player. Thank you and God bless.